Damn, it is good to be back. I guess it's true what they say, there's no place like Bunker. I bet you really miss Curtis's dad jokes. You know what? I did, a little. I miss this baby more. Well, good, because you are gonna be wearing it plenty. We're the only vigilante team left standing. What do you mean? John got into a huge fight with Oliver and joined Argus. Then Oliver kicked Felicity out of the bunker. So now he's going solo. Huh. So Oliver finally drove them all away. Can't say I'm surprised or that I care. Taking down Diaz was always gonna come down to the three of us. So what's the plan? Well, we can wait till my NSA lead pans out. Until then, we're kind of dead in the water. The city's dying. We can't just sit around here picking our noses. No, you're absolutely right. And we need to go at this some way that does not depend on finding Diaz, even if that means grasping at straws. Well, forget grasping at straws. What if we grasp at his wallet? <laughs> the best way to get to Diaz is to go after his operation. What operation? He was really deep into pushing vertigo. Was? John and Oliver took out his operation three weeks ago. Well, then that means Diaz has to be in the market for a new supplier. Or an old one. Before Diaz went to prison, he led the Scorpions. That is Star City's biggest supplier. That feels like a leap. It may be, but it's all we got. And even if it doesn't lead to Diaz, we still take down a drug operation. That's a win-win. You know, but the problem is with me boxed out of the SCPD, it's gonna be a lot harder to get intel on the Scorpions. Maybe not. Diaz isn't the only person who grew up in the Glades. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the CW to see more from Arrow.